We're so glad you joined me for this time of just having a little devotional time in God's Word. Uh, we are now in, in Proverbs chapter 21. This is your devotional for May 26th. And I'm going to do just what I did last week. I'm just going to hit four quick little lessons and encourage you to pray that one of these lessons would strike your heart and impact your life. So here's the first one. Plan well. Be a good planner. Listen to Proverbs 21.5. The plans of the diligent lead to profit. As surely as haste leads to poverty. Take your time, plan well. If you're rushing to things you haven't planned well, it says it, it's, it's not good for your financial bottom line. I think not just financial poverty, all kinds of poverty. I watch people who don't plan anything and that's exactly what they accomplish. <laughs> I watch people who plan well and they rarely accomplish all they planned, but they accomplish a lot, mo lot more than they thought they would have and more than they would have if they hadn't planned anything. And so plan well. Lesson number two, listen well. Slow down. Pay attention. Listen well. Listen to verse 13. Whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. Now that's, a, that's a sobering thought. Wh whoever shuts their ears, and I think implied their heart, to people truly in need, to the, to the people who are poor and truly in need, will also cry out and not be answered. When they come to a point of need, guess what? Not a lot of compassion for them. And so listen well. Listen for the voice of the needy. Listen for the cry of the outcast and the marginalized. And I know, because I think this way sometimes too, yeah, but there's a lot of people who act like they need something and they don't. Then use wisdom and discernment. But you know what? There are people you will encounter who are in deep times of need and deep times of struggle. We have a food pantry and a clothing closet here at Shoreline that helps thousands and thousands of people. We don't know if they're all in profound need, but many of them are. So we're going to err to the side of grace and keep listening to the voice and helping those who are in need. Plan well, listen well. Here's number three. Fight well. Fight well. So what's, what's that mean? Here's verse 19. Better to live in a desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife. I'm going to take a little spin on that. I don't think it's just about a nagging wife. I think it's about a nagging person. You got nagging wives. There's nagging husbands. There's nagging people. Don't be a nagger. But do learn to work through hard things. Anytime somebody's nagging, there's something behind it, and they're just not fighting well. They're not dealing with their frustration well, so they become a nag. How about if you do this? If you say, what's the problem? What's bothering me? What are you doing that irritates me? Let's have a conversation. Let's pray about it. Let's work through it. Don't ignore those things that are difficult. Don't become a nag, but Fight well. And can I tell you a little story? Sherry and I, early on in our marriage, we had a couple that we were around that we really respected who said to Sherry and I, they said, you know, we don't feel comfortable when you fight in front of us. And I said to him, I don't think you've ever seen us fight. And then they described how we interact. I said, oh, that's not us. That's not a fight. That's just us talking. <laughs> Sherry and I are, are really direct. We're really blunt with each other. They said, they said, well, don't do that around us. <laughs> they weren't comfortable expressing. But for Sherry and I, we keep short accounts. If I irritate her or bug her, she's going to tell me kindly. If, if she irritates or bugs me, which is less often than I ir irritate or bug her, I will tell her. And we hash it out. We talk it out. We pray it out. When I say fight well, what I mean is don't bury things. Deal with them. And guess what? When you fight well, when you deal with things right there, you don't have to deal with them as often. And sometimes you don't have to deal with them at all because you really, really address them and go after them. So plan well. Listen well. Fight well. And number four, speak well. Speak well or not at all. Listen to the final passage for today. Chapter 21, verse 23. Those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. Guard your mouth. Guard your tongue. Speak well. Think before you speak. Bite your tongue. There's all these different little things, these little colloquialisms that we have that tell you, be careful what you say. Why? Because our words, Proverbs also says, have the power of life and death. I'm going to challenge you to speak well and honor God with your words. Lord Jesus, we want to live well. So we pray that all four of these things will touch our hearts, but that one of them will move our life in this coming week. That we will be wiser and live better lives because we've heard from your word. I pray for your blessing for each one who's listening to these devotionals. Stir their hearts, move in their lives, and lead them forward in wisdom, I pray in your name, Jesus. Amen.